Hey YouTube, it's Sean again. This is part three of the uh, RV stovetop rust repair. As you can see, we have saved this piece. It's really, really sweet. Um, hard, having a hard time with light, so let's throw some light there. There you go. But, um, got the rust. I can't even, there we go. Got all that rust, and yeah, it's a little high right there, but that's okay. Still better than the rust. There you go, YouTube. Um, the other side, just as pretty. It's all coated with high heat header paint. And, um, it ain't gonna rust again, I'll bet you. And, um, got the stove top done. Um, underneath, underneath all the burners. It's all coated as well. Really well coated. And, um, all we have to do now is go around here. You know, where I got the overspray, go around all the chrome and go with, with some steel wool with a little bit of oil on it. They'll clean all up. Get all that chrome fixed up. Might even do the stove front with a little bit of steel wool and oil. Just just to clean it up. Never never done it yet, but there you go YouTube. We got it all fixed up. I took the I uh, took the tape off the jets. Um, I mean the burner um, controls, so that they're all ready to go. Now we're looking at reassembly YouTube. All right, guys. Um, thanks for sticking in there. And um, all, as always, please thumbs up if you watch the video and you like it. Throw, go up in the corner and th throw me a thumbs up, guys. Thank you. And um, we appreciate the uh, watching and subscribing. Guys, take care of yourselves. And um, now all we have to do is throw our burners back in. And I'll show you episode four when we get it all back together. Thanks, guys. And, um, just to let you know what paint I used, it was this. You know, VHD, which is very high temperature. Um, there it is. Engine enamel. That's what I used. So, there you go, guys. Take care of yourselves. Catch you next time. Episode 4 is coming soon. Take care, guys. Bye.